was in 1992, I lost a son to cancer. Derek was 11 years old. Robert Schimmel, 1978, two present. And I did everything I could to make Derek laugh constantly. He had an unbelievable sense of humor. The Make-A-Wish Foundation came to our house after Children's Hospital sent him home and said they couldn't do anything anymore. And I said his wish was to watch Dolly Parton blow me. And uh, these people were stunned. I mean, they, they couldn't talk. And he almost fell out of his bed. He was pissing on his pants. He, we, he knew what that was. I, I wasn't going to hold back with him anymore at that point. And they said, we were thinking like Disneyland, Knott's Berry Farm. I said, hey, she could blow me at Disneyland, Knott's Berry Farm. I don't give a fuck. So, and, but he laughed. And that's all that mattered to me was that. You know, you can cry so much. I, I never, you know, I never talked to him about it being the end. So I was never going to go there. And I faced the same thing myself and still crack jokes about that when I was going through it because, because what we do is we take the worst things in our life and turn it into something palatable for everybody else because the best comedy comes from real life. I think that when you talk about something that really happened, whether you... Uh, make it a caricature of what happened or whatever, but it's, it is a version of the truth. You connect with an audience in the way that you cannot with contri contrived material. So you've done stand-up comedy through your son's illness, through your own illness, now through this separation of marriage. Do you ever envision anything that would stop you from doing stand-up comedy? No. 